Hello, people of the internet. It is I, Tofu Ace, here to build a plane. So we're going to start off with a cockpit, of course. Uh, it's a pit. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Not going to go there. <laughs> so yeah, basically, with a plane, you're going to need a cockpit of some sort, uh, wheels, air intake, fuel, and wings. Control surfaces, and there you go. That's all what you really need. So keeping this in mind, you want to make sure everything is aligned properly. That's why I have the lift, mass, and thrust center put up. Here we go, placing the wheels. These are the um, B9 rocketry, uh, B9 rocketry, <laughs> B9 aerospace. I'm sorry, it's not a KW rocketry. I'm so used to saying that. So I'm been flying rockets so often you have to watch out for the wheels you want them uh, first off if you noticed I'm putting them on the wing I'm not putting them on the fuselage you have a wider base so it's a little bit more stable with uh, taking off and landing now if you notice right here they're kind of skewed apart you don't want to have that they will tend to rock to one side or the other and lean your craft so if you have an airplane that's unstable when uh, trying to take off, like it veers to one side, you, you might want to check that. That's probably the reason why it does that. Put on some scientific instruments. So we have our center of mass, center of lift, and center of thrust up to make sure that everything is lined up. We're going to put on a expendable Kerbin. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there we go. I push forward, so my craft will be on all three wheels. It's it, This is my attempt at making a very small aircraft, just to test it out, since this is the first time we've done it in this series, right? Oh, oh, <laughs> a little bit too much thrust with the brake on, and oh, oh no, no. Oh, 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 that's a lot of parts blowing up. Uh, I, uh, ooh, he survived. Well, fantastic. <laughs> we learned absolutely nothing from that. <laughs> uh, since he survived, we'll try it again. Reverting to the runaway. Okay, here we go. So let's light this candle and see how she flies. I've only unlocked the first stage of airplane parts. So I'm using the B9 aerospace pack here uh, on the wings. That's why they're moving around crazily. I don't think I have enough lift or it's too heavy. Y y yeah, this doesn't look good. <laughs> so there's a bug in B9 that you cannot right click on some parts and change their settings. Of course, that doesn't contribute. That doesn't contribute to that mess up right there, that was all me, but I still can't right click and get a menu pop up for the parts from the B9 pack in this version of KSP. So we're doing a redesign, I'm putting on a V-tail. We needed more lift uh, and to reduce some of the weight. As long as you have enough lift and enough uh, engine power thrust, uh, weight, you, you, can, you can get around weight. But it's always useful to have it weigh the, the least amount as possible, right? Okay, so let's try this again. I didn't fix those wheels. <laughs> They're still... It still uh, angles backward as it falls when it's being introduced into the world. Okay, so yeah, it lifts off. We're doing good here. Not too bad. As a matter of fact, it's uh, somewhat surprisingly stable. I don't even have... I forgot about the SAS. Oh, you can see it wobble a little bit. It does have stability issues. As a matter of fact, oh, it's maneuverable. <laughs> but if you notice, once it stops turning, it's going to be wiggling all over the place. Piggly wiggly. Oh, oh no. Oh, that doesn't look good. It's corkscrewing. Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay. It apparently likes to 
turn upwards <laughs> to pull up. So let's keep doing that. <laughs> it turns very well. Very, very well. But yeah, it's it's unstable. It it's like the craft doesn't know if it wants to keep flying up or down. So the center of lift is too close to the center of mass. So we're going to want to pull the center of lift back. I mean, we, we want this to be a high-speed craft, so we want to pull the center of lift back. While we're here, I might as well try to get our sensors going and gain some sweet, sweet science along the way. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Okay, okay. Let's uh, not tempt fate too much. Uh, 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 okay. Put on the brakes. Slow this puppy down. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's even shaking on the ground. Let's turn on SAS. Now, that's the that's weird. The nose is shaking now. Maybe the um, control wheels. Let's turn off the torque. Nope. Still, like, look. Reaction wheel disabled, reaction wheel operational. Okay, it's disabled now, and I can move. Something is up with this. Uh, let's just keep it. I mean, we're going to recover the craft anyway, right? Oh, yeah, and... Yeah, okay. Keep that. Recover. It's so weird how it's shaking, like even the wheel, I don't know if it's the wheel or if it's the cockpit. That is strange. But anyway, we got almost 20 science here. We have 152 total. We need 160 for those new fangled solar panels. As you can see, where is it? Yeah. So 160 total. Why don't we try it again and try to get that those last what eight science uh, research points? Net. It's called the net. <laughs> Gus, it's your turn. You're in the hot seat. I mean, you're the pilot. Yeah, sure. Let's. Gus is. <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I, I didn't hit W. I hit like Q or something. Or A. Okay. Well, th there we go. Pop in a wheelie. <laughs> Let's see if this takes off again as nicely as last time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. That part's down. We just need to change the the lift and the the uh, center of mass a little bit. Ooh, it really pitches up fast, isn't it? <laughs> I might actually just keep it like this. It's kind of fun to fly. Especially when it spazzes out like this. It doesn't know what the heck to do. <laughs> Alright, so let's try to get over those mountains in the background over there. because we can't get any more science here. I don't know if we've gotten any science from the shore yet, the shoreline, but we're already pointing this direction, so we might as well go this way, right? Nice pretty shot of the Mun rising over the mountains behind the Kerbal Space Center. Why don't we cut when we, I actually get there? Okay. Here we go. Doing last little bit of science. And we might even try to land if I can pull it off. I've done it before, but not in this plane. But in other saves in the past, I've landed on these mountains a few times and other mountains too. But then again, those are more stable craft. <laughs> that I engineered specifically for that purpose or 
had uh, parachutes <laughs> to to help the scent. So ooh ooh. Yeah, I, I, this thing could barely fly, much less uh, <laughs> land in a mountain range. Ooh, but there is a slightly sloped area there that might be smooth enough to land. Why don't we turn around here and pull back a little bit. Take the slow. Oh boy, it doesn't like having the engine off. Oh, uh, oof. It doesn't, it doesn't like anything, really. <laughs> this is so weird, like... Wow, it it flies under power straight very well. Like it'll be a really good high speed plane, but uh, it, it, any change of direction and it, it just freaks out. It doesn't like it. Ooh, ooh, nope, nope. Not liking that. Oh no. What happens is when it gets close to stalling, it pitches up, and. That makes me stall even worse, and then it starts tumbling out of control. So let's keep the engine power up a little bit, but we're trying to slow down too at the same time, so it's going to be a balancing act. Uh, trying to not pull up so much, but it's it's stalling up upwards too. Oof. Okay, let's. Uh, we're not really lined up where I want it to be. Maybe we can go for that little hill up there. Oh no. No, 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 oh, no. Oh. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, goodbye, guys. It was time. <laughs> uh, at least the wheel survived. <laughs> that shall be the grave marker for Gus Kermit. Okay, so I redesigned our gnat. It's a little bit larger. I have plans for this though. This is going to be our science gathering somewhat long distance plane. We don't have technology yet for hypersonic jets. I mean, I guess I really could do it if I wanted to put on some um, rocket engines and fuel for them, but I want to keep it simple, at least for now. So I have parachutes here. I put them around the center of mass. So hopefully it'll be a sta stable platform as I pop the chutes and descend onto any an uneven land. So I can land on that area and get signs from a uh, crew report and the EVA report and also take in a surface sample. We don't need that much more research points to get where we want to be, so. As a matter of fact, I think with the previous jet, we already had enough, so. Okay, we're going to take off here and see how it flies. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh no, it's veering off. See, I, <laughs> I didn't follow my own advice from earlier. Uh, it's break. Oh no, 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 don't, don't tip. Oh, 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 it's not broken. Okay. <laughs> it's a merry go round. Uh, okay, woof. At least the brakes work. Uh, everything's in one piece. Good. Very good. <laughs> Still looks okay. Uh, since we're here, yeah, we're at KFC. KFC not KFC. This is not brought to you by KFC, it's brought to you by KSC. Surprisingly, we haven't got any signs from this biome. So we'll do that right now. Extract what we can. For sure we have that next part. Okay, here we go. Let's fix those wheels. Oh yeah, whenever, I notice whenever a part starts freaking out like this after you try to fix it, it's better just to throw them away, because even when you put them on back perfectly, something's up with it that it doesn't want to stick. Or, it, it sticks in place, but this one not operate the way you intended by how you oriented it. So let's put on a fresh new pair of wheels. Here we go. A little bit back. Oh, yeah, I, I like to get it right on the edge between flipping around and not. Okay, it looks straight. Straight enough. Everything's lined up still. It's 
looking good. I, I really like this design. So as you can see here, I am making sure I have the key bindings set up for the shoots to deploy them and also to cut them. Let's get rid of Jebediah and put in somebody expendable, as usual. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, the wheel in the front is kind of bouncing around. That's weird. That's okay. We can still take off. It has some good acceleration. This is looking lovely. It doesn't oscillate. All the control services don't freak out. <laughs> Seems very stable. It's a very stable platform, which is good for landing in un unfinished runways, you know, out in the wild, the wilderness of Kirpin. A little bit of yaw problems, but I have a VTEL set up, so that's probably why. Okay, here we go. Higher altitude flight. Doing some science really quick. Of course, we're in fast forward mode. Yeah, it uh, doesn't have enough lift, does it? Also, since we're on the regular jet engine and not the more powerful turbo jets, it won't help in that regard either. I mean, for what it is, it performs really well. We just, uh, we're still too early in the game for those really high altitude, high speed, easy to build, or easier to build, for that purpose at least, planes. Okay, this looks like a good area to land. Oh, actually... This isn't the desert, is it? This is right behind the space center and behind those mountains. I thought it was a desert, but I guess it's the next continent over. That I was thinking where the desert is, so I didn't fly far enough, but that's okay. I don't think we have research from the shores anyway. At least not with our new parts that we've unlocked. Like the temperature. So let's pop the chutes. Slow down just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it kind of did a little flip, but we're okay. <laughs> so as you can see, my nose is really high up. And you would think, that's not a good way to, to land. You're going to break stuff on the way down. No, 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 no. This is good for a really uh, inclined surfaces like mountains. So since this is a relatively flatter compared to that, we can engage our jet, yeah, and then straighten it out a little bit with some forward momentum. Here we go. Yeah, see, the nose is dropping now. We just have to make sure to hit the brakes and slow down. Here we go. Yeah, see, landed. No skill landing. <laughs> do some more research. This is just one of those trans transitional videos, right? Where we have to get some research going so we can have some more interesting parts for our next big mission. As a matter of fact, I think in our next episode we should fly to one of the polar regions. That could be interesting for planes. We don't have SSTOs yet, so I have to think of some interesting missions to use regular airplanes for. Take our surface sample and our EVA report and recover. Well, there you have it. We have 
uh, <laughs> 11 points, and I already bought the previous research. So we have those nifty solar panels. Let's uh, make sure the yeah the gnat has been recovered. 